Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther Vision, and today we're going to recreate this uh, graffiti type script in vectors. So first things first, uh, select your stroke. It's right here. Uh, usually it's on fill, so you need to switch it. You can press Shift X also to switch that. And uh, we're gonna, uh, you know, bring the opacity down on this. You can see here the opacity is 100%, and we're gonna bring it down to like 30 or until it's going to be more invisible but then you you still can see the lines on the drawings or on whatever you're trying to do in vectors we're gonna isolate the layer and we're gonna create a new layer and again select the stroke and then press p or select the pen tool in other words, and we're going to st start basically drawing the lines. We're going to start from here. So basically, this is a, this is a round, rounded. If you can see in these rounds, in this uh, circle, basically they're like four points, you know, anchor points that basically have these things that you can manipulate the lines. Same thing is gonna we're gonna try to do with the letter O. So we're gonna start from here. And this is gonna be more uh, distorted, but and then press. If you want to go back, then press Alt, and then you also can manipulate again this line without uh, you know losing this continuous part i'm gonna go somewhere around here the o uh, should be pretty simple basically because it's rounded it's it's not that complicated you know than the rest of the letters i'm gonna go around here maybe no so this part basically goes out and i think that uh, i need to move it like that so it won't be straight i'm going to bend it on the left more yeah something like that And you know, you always, you gotta press the odd to adjust this little thing. And we have the outside part of this O letter. I'm gonna uncheck the snap to pixels because it's not smooth. It's always activates the snap to pixels, I don't know why. I mean, it's just in these new versions of uh, Adobe Illustrators. Same thing we're gonna do here, create, um, just press shift and then drag it to the right and you can see it's extends. And then the more you extend this, the more curvature you're gonna have, the bigger curvature you're gonna have. The less you going to expand it like this, the less curvature you're gonna have. So I'm gonna expand it something something around this, and uh, I can create an accurate curve. But it, it, as you can see, it's like too much. So I'm gonna reduce it even more. You need more patience for this thing in order to get it done. As you can see, this is not going straight. This curve is going more onto the right. So I'm not going to create a straight anchor point. I'm going to, you know, create a that basically that basically goes, you know, 
more on the right side. Somewhere around here. This is going to be so imperfect because you know it has like these funky lines going on. It's definitely not a regular. So you can see this one is broken. It's not uh, consistent with this. So I'm going to select this anchor point, of course, using the direct select tool, direct selection tool. And I'm going to select with the direct selection tool this anchor point and then click on the convert selected anchor point to smooth. So now I can, now basically it's consistent, it's not broken. And I want to make this even more rounded, a little more. But I also like the thick to be more thicker a little in this area. So basically it should be something like this. On this part I'm going to create this alone. And then this part separately. Why? Because basically this line here needs to go consistently with its own. If you create it like this and then you you go round and then you come back, this won't be consistent. I mean, that's a good thing also if you're creating some caricature kind of typeface. This is also kind of caricature, by the way, but I want to show you how to make it, uh, you know, like a more natural and organic script. So I'm going to start, I, I think I'm going to leave this edge uh, sharp. So I'm going to start in here and bend it more. You can see how long is this and I can basically create another line here because it's going to curve a lot. So I'm going to press Alt and bring this to here. It's going to be sharp. I'm thinking to be sharp, but uh, I also can create a little more curvature going on. This way we got the letter N. I can select these and press Shift plus X to see the final result, you know, with fill. This is how it looks. It looks funky, that's for sure. But uh, that's uh, basically the objective of it. can see it has this edge like it's consistent with this so um, it's a little bit more challenging we, we're gonna do this in one piece we won't uh, separate it in two like how we did on the end and uh, yeah <laughs>
here goes the interesting part. Um, I'm gonna create anchor point here on this zone and you know the bending is going to be more interesting because it should go basically in one line so what I gonna do actually is create another um, line in here so I'm gonna bend this a little more I think yeah yeah just created this thing here and I'm going going to bend it from here so it's like almost 50 50 this can go here and from there we can shorten this out so it can be more realistic after the sketch and we can go and um, bring this around here I think it's gonna be too curvy Okay, okay, I'm gonna leave this like that. I'm gonna create a copy from this. Press Alt, Shift, and bring it down. Bring it down. From here, you can see the outlines looking good. I'm gonna select them all, press Shift X, or you can press this uh, little arrow thingy so you can invert. You can see these uh, lines because, um, I mean, these fill parts. That basically created uh, you know two uh, two circles and when you create two circles like this and you feel you know you invert to fill they're basically gonna fill both circles what we need to do basically go back and you know press shift plus M or select the shape builder tool you can cut this out by, by uh, pressing alt and just clicking on it or you can select these and go to the pathfinder and go to the minus front. If you don't have the pathfinder here, you can go to windows and select pathfinder. So it's going to show up. 
So right now it looks something like that. It's pretty funky. I think I like it. I think I like it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it needs some adjustments here and there. I don't, I don't like the P, how it's done. It still uh, needs some smoothening. So after, you know, when you switch it to from, from stroke to fill, you're going to see some more uh, things going on, you know. Uh, yeah, I need to... So basically this part is really straight right now. I need a perfect curvature, but which basically is not that curvy. So um, I gonna insist from this zone to make it a little bit more curvy, but it didn't made it more curvy. So I'm gonna bring this down and bring this up and see what is going to be. Okay, now it's perfect. Snap, I didn't thought it's going to be this simple because it looked kind of suspicious to me. Um, yeah, this could be good. This could be good. I'm just gonna make this smaller. See how it's gonna look, how it's gonna feel and perform. And I'm gonna make this rounder, more rounded. Sorry, and. Uh, Push this in a little more, make this curvy by pressing the convert selected anchor point to smooth, so it made it more smoother. All right, I'm kind of satisfied with it, you know. It's uh, yeah. Let me see how it's gonna perform in um, negative. Negative. It's also very important to see how it's, uh, the weight how it's gonna look in negative. So I'm gonna create a black box I'm gonna uh, of course uh, press uh, control or command shift uh, and uh, what did I press I don't know the main thing is to put the box um, right below the text let me see how I did it because I I make these short I mean uh, I do these shortcuts I press them that I don't even know what the hell I'm hitting oh yeah there, there we go so um, you can go to the layers basically this is going to going to be complicated and um, I mean a lot more complicated than the shortcut and you can see here the black box and you can bring the layer up or you can bring it down or you know so if you bring it up like in this zone um, it's gonna disappear you're gonna bring under the text it's gonna appear and uh, you can do it by I'm gonna text down the shortcut I don't know how to do it in Adobe Illustrator right now to show the shortcuts because it's a little bit more time consuming a lot more so I'm gonna what so it's like shift plus control slash command if you're a PC I mean if you're a Mac user uh, plus this, I mean, sorry, this or that. So what what's this gonna do is uh, brings the layers down, and this thing brings the layers up. But uh, you know, hundred percent. Like you can see, I selected here. It's right here. I'm gonna press Control Command Shift plus uh, down, and it's gonna bring it to the bottom. I'm gonna if I'm gonna press up, it's gonna bring it. 100% to the, to the top layers. Now there's another trick. You don't press control, I mean the shift, you just press, uh, you know, the control plus that thing. And you know, it's gonna go, uh, go down with the layers, but uh, not through all the layers at the same time, but uh, separately, you know, one by one. You can see how it's moving moving it up or moving it down. This is manual with control, command, shift, plus uh, that thing is gonna move it to the bottom or to the up. Okay. So yeah, this was it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, have a great day. Bye bye.